welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am getting back into some resin and I'm so excited because two of my really good friends combined gave me all this at Christmas time. So this make your own pens uh, came in a set like this with lots of extra um, ink pen inserts and in three colors. So black, red, and blue. And looks like I can make a lot of them. So there's nine different pen molds. And then my lovely friend, so that was Betty from Oak by Bettina who gave me these. And then my friend Donna with It's Art by Donna gave me these air cushion powder pens. So I'm excited to combine both and see what we can do. I'm a little bit concerned that the pens may not get in, or the, this cushion pen may not get into the pointy bits, but I'll see how we get along. So I'm gonna combine a few colors and get on with this. Oh, and I did mix up uh, two ounces of resin and I am using the epoxy resin by Let's Resin, just their regular one-to-one -one resin. Here are all the colors one wants to roll. Let's get started and see. So it looks like first we're going to have to insert, no, first I need to sponge this on. So we unscrew. Look at that! Oh my gosh, look how bright that is. Alright, I'm going to work from my left because I'm a lefty. with a different color. That was pink. Let's go with maybe this blue one now. Wow, look at that. Unfortunately, because I had this so zoomed in, uh, much of what I did was off screen. So I'm going to just forward through until the pieces are colored and um, we'll just continue from there. Now that the pen molds are all colored up, I'm just inserting the pens into the molds and that went really easily. And with the resin, I've decided that I'm gonna color it white so that, that, so that the pigments really stand out. The pigment that I'm using to color the white is High Tide Piggy Paste by TLP. And we'll get to pouring it in the molds. One of the things that I noticed is that the air bubbles are stuck in the ends, both at the front pen end and at the back. And I really should have sprayed the molds with um, alcohol before pouring the resin in. So right now you'll see me squishing both the front end and the back end, just trying to get those air bubbles out. For the most part, I succeed and um, 
but not completely as you will see in the end. I do have still some air bubbles that are in there. Gosh darn it. So these remaining two pens, I do spray the molds with isopropyl alcohol before pouring the uh, resin in. And I'm just doing that one at a time because the alcohol does tend to evaporate pretty quickly. Okie dokie, it's unmolding time. So I know that these ones are gonna have a couple of bubbles in them, but let's check it out. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Next one. This one I had problems because the pens wanted to keep bobbing up. But this one will be easy to unmold. Oh, look at that. That's really cute. I guess the one thing is your pens won't roll off, right? A little bit more tricky. Not by much, though. Yeah, these are actually really quite easy to unmold. Here's that blue one, the silver. Oh, I like it. Like it, like it. This one had three different colors on it, but you can't really tell too much. For these last three pens, I actually just mixed mica powder from different companies right into the resin and then poured them into the pen molds. Um, I'm just pointing out I had a bubble in that one too, even though I sprayed it with, uh, with alcohol. So I think really the best thing to do with these is probably do a solid color like this, um, or maybe layers. This one, I had a lighter pink at the bottom and the darker at the top, but again, you can't really tell. So there we are. Those were so fun to make. So thank you again to Betty and Donna for providing the molds as well as um, the mica powder for these ones here. So thank you. I hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps my channel and is totally free to you. Catch you on the next video. Bye for now.